Hey everybody, this is Randy the Mobile Traveler. Hope this video finds you well. I am sitting here just outside Williams, Arizona. And I came up here. Well, long and short of it, I failed. So, let me go through the intro. You guys come on back. We'll talk about it. Okay. Sitting next to me is Susan. AKA Joni. Joni's her name. You know what? When I did the video and called her Susan, I just didn't want people harassing her. And yes, there are people out there that would. So to protect her anonymity and so on and so forth, I called her Susan. Heck, she didn't even know I was going to do it. So let's talk about the fail. I came up here to try to fix her rig. I can't do it. Where it's sitting is in a gully. And that gully gets very muddy. And it rains every day. I can't do it. It's not a cracked head or blown head gasket, it's a cracked head. That's a lot of work to try to fix and a lot of money. She has a 2002 uh, Four, Winds. Four Winds camper. It's a Class C and it's not worth putting in $8,000 into that camper. The camper's not worth it. So it would take definitely eight to two probably about 8,000 if I was to do the work and that would take me I used to say a month of Sundays it would take me two months of Sundays to fix that I have no place to do it if I had a place yeah I could do it but where it's at there's no way um, so yeah I guess you could say I failed really thought I could do it anyway let's talk to Joni a little bit I'd like you guys to, to meet her and let's let's hear a little bit of her story okay well everybody this is Joni we're gonna find out a little bit more about her so Joni if I remember right, you were a nurse. Yeah. What, what type of nurse were you? Mostly hospice and dialysis. Hospice and dialysis. How long were you a nurse, John? 30 years. 30 years. 30 plus years caring for other people. That's got to be hard, especially the hospice. I loved what I did. Did you? Uh -huh. Well, you got to love it to do it. So... How did you, you're on disability, mm -hmm. so I'll let you tell the story. I, I kind of know about it because I did talk to her before. Um, so you became disabled while on the job. Didn't you fall or something? Yeah, it, but it wasn't on the job, but it, it impacted me able to do my job. You couldn't do your job anymore because of the fall. Right. Um, now... I understand that you had a little bit of money put back and that allowed you to get your rig, yes. which was very inexpensive to begin with. I, I got it for a, a great deal. 2002 Four Winds. Yeah. Right. So, now, when you're on disability, I understand it's hard to make ends meet. Yes. So. Is that why you became nomadic? Yes. 
is because you want to explain that a little bit. I couldn't afford where I was living. You couldn't afford to rent? No. Um, just for the heck of it, what's the percentage of rent versus disability? Were you paying for rent? Over half. So you're paying over 50%. Okay. So then you had your, you were paying 50% or over 50% for your rent. You still had to buy your food, your medication, pay for your gas, your insurance. I the, didn't have insurance. You couldn't afford insurance. No. So that's why you became nomadic, basically, in a nutshell. Yes. What, uh, let me guess, Bob Wells. <laughs> He was the first person I saw in this world. Yeah. Cheap RV living just kind of pops up there when you least expect it. Yep. I had never heard of it before. Never heard of it, and all of a sudden it's here. I'd never heard of being able to live out here and be on BLM land and save money. Well, it's a lot cheaper to live. There's yeah. a lot of people out here that are forced to be out here. And I guess you, you weren't forced, but you were close. Well, yeah, I would have had to move from where I was, and really there wasn't much cheaper. So, How long have you been on the road then? October will be two years. So almost two years, mm -hmm. and you've been broke down here in, for almost five months. Yes. That's kind of a heck of an existence. It's been a little difficult. So when you were broke down, you couldn't get water, couldn't get propane, no. couldn't get groceries, let alone do laundry. No. I want you guys to know, Joni didn't ask me to come. I felt a need to. I've known Joni for a little while. She first showed up at camp. Um, needing some work done on the four winds. Uh, all the seals in the windows was bad. And when it did rain in Arizona, water was coming in. So myself and a friend of mine, Homer, we fixed all the windows in there, put in a couple new seals, and made sure it was uh, weather ready. And uh, I think if I remember right, you backed into something and, and oh yeah, she, she wrecked the RV, so I had to fix the back <laughs> corner piece. Um, Joni was in dire need. Nobody to help her. She came out here and she was renting a spot from somebody that was supposed to do all the basic needs for her, get her water, propane, so on and so forth. And he did it periodically, but not really when she needed it. And trust me, I thought long and hard before I opted to come out here, but I really thought that a slight chance I could fix that thing. <clears throat> My apologies to you, Joan. I appreciate the effort. We tried, right guys? Right. So what I'm going to do now for family, for family started to GoFundMe. And I am going to put that link to the GoFundMe in my video in the, in the description. Um, that's the only way I can help her right now. I, I've done everything else I could do. So, with that being said, everybody, I have some work to do. I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to take Joni back in to get more water. She's been doing a lot of cleaning because she's gonna have to try to sell that rig because she has to get something else, and it's it's cheaper to get something else than to try to get come up with eight or nine thousand dollars to fix that darn thing anyway
love one another, guys. That's all I can say. If you don't, I'm going to come through this camera, and we're going to have a discussion. No, I'm just playing with you. All right. Say goodbye, Joan. Bye. Thank you. This is Randy, Mobile Traveler. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching.